Hey guys, I just want to do a quick video of how to set up your um, GPU miner or basic uh, air motherboard um, or computer. So uh, this is the um, ASRock H97 anniversary board. I went ahead and screwed it down. I used some uh, plastic risers. All I did was actually get uh, just tubing. Just tubing from the plumbing department. It was real cheap, like 20 cents a foot. Cut them. Got one inch screws. Put them down, don't have to worry about any arcings. I'm using wood as a base. Went ahead and set the CPU right there. I've got the stock cheap Intel standard cooler. Um, took, went ahead and took the thermal paste they had on here off. Just cleaned it with some regular rubbing alcohol. And I uh, used not tissue paper because that will leave um residue or actually like particles and stuff behind make sure you use something cotton um so rather be q-tips or cotton balls or something to clean this um go ahead and pause this move to the next step okay the thermal paste that i use guys is the does it arctic silver five uh, this stuff's awesome i used it on my main computer um just put a little bit of a bb on there Basically a pea size is really what you need. Um, let's see if I can use my finger as an example so you can see or look at that screw head. It's really not a large amount. Um, here, we'll use a Q-tip so you can see the example, the size difference. Oops. So there you go. I'm going to go ahead and set this cooler. And the right way I like to set a cooler, it's going to be hard for me to record this and do it at the same time, but I'll kind of explain it. What I do is it takes two hands. I'll take one hand, I'll lean this sideways, and go ahead and get these two prongs lined up. That way the cooler is not actually touching any of the, uh, Arctic, paste, or the Arctic silver or the thermal paste. And once these two are lined up, I'll go ahead and drop it left and make sure the other two are lined up. And I'll take a single finger and press moderately, just very mild, steady pressure in the middle and do not release it. Uh, once you start applying the pressure, just maintain it. Use your other hand with a screwdriver to go ahead and tighten it down. This will prevent any air bubbles um, from forming. So like if you were to push it down, pull it back up, or push it down, pull it back up, it could produce uh, air bubble locations. Um, and also, I think there's going to be a lot of, just a quick summary, I like the dot version. Um, you can do the lines, you can do other versions. I think the dot versions is the best because it doesn't allow for any air bubbles in the middle. It, or less chance of getting air bubbles in the middle. It's just simpler. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and set this. Okay, that was really simple. Uh, once you seat that, I just used my good old trusty Swiss Army knife. Had since I was a kid. And I just used it to turn these things a quarter turn so that that flat part is facing in. And they're nice and seat. Alright guys, move on to put the ram in. Alright, so the ram's really simple. Just going to open those two latches as you can see. We want to line up that notch. As you can see, the wide side to the right and, and the narrow side to the left. So you're always going to go with the blue or colored first. And it snaps into place. Push down even, moderately, and in the middle. Snap. Done. We'll go ahead and install the next one. Okay, I got the other one in. Um, we're going to need to plug in our fan for the CPU, which goes right here. This motherboard, I like to take this and tuck it down. Okay, we're going to need one of these SATA plugs for the drive. And let me get some of the power cords ready and pause this and I'll show you the next step. Okay, we're just about done. All we're going to need now is the CPU plug. CPU takes uh, two fours, which are going to go right over here, right next to the RAM. goes right there. I'm going to plug that in in just a minute. We need one of these to power 
our SATA drive or our um, uh, PCI Express slots. So we're gonna have to plug this into the board right here. So again, we need one of the four prongs. Then we need one of these so that we can plug that into the um, SSD. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out.